Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my dog Frank, he wanted to say hi. Um, so I look sort of funny, I don't have any um, eye makeup on or mascara or anything because um, my sister got me an eyeshadow palette for my birthday and I want to try it out. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm a different. Alright, let me put him down. Okay. So, my sister got me the Jawbreaker palette um, from Jeffree Star, and I'm super excited to try it. Um, P.S. I love the packaging. I like how it's white like a, a Jawbreaker would be, and I was sort of disappointed when I opened it that the palette's packaging wasn't white. Um, it's pink, which I mean, I know that's like Jeffree Star's color is pink, but I just love the aesthetic of the white over the pink, especially if I have it like sitting on my table here. I just like the coloring better. It just reminds me of like an original Jawbreaker candy. Oh, also for my birthday, she got me this pair of Tiffany & Company sunglasses. Cute. I really like them a lot. Uh, so all you can see is like the ring light <laughs> that's sitting in front of me. That's why it looks funny. Looks like I have googly eyes. Anyway. So yeah, I want to try out this palette. And if you haven't seen it yet... First off, I don't know why I haven't had anything from Jeffree Star. I absolutely love him. Like, I root for his makeup, and I'm like, yes, fucking love it, but I've never even used it before. So, I'm like, I've got to use some of his makeup. The palette is super heavy. I like, I know he always talks about on his channel, like, when he's reviewing stuff, like, how he likes stuff to be, like, weighted, which, um, I don't want to necessarily say like just because something's heavy it means it's expensive but usually the materials used sort of just like work out that way um, usually when you're using like glass material or just something a little bit more expensive it's usually weighted more um, and this is definitely heavy and it has a huge um, a huge mirror in the top and then the size of the eyeshadows is what I really love also is they're just so big um, I feel like you could use this palette for a while and not run out of any of these colors especially because they're so bold uh, well I mean some people might use these colors every single day but I I mean especially with the job that I have um, I don't wear makeup to work occasionally Occasionally I'll wear like some concealer, maybe a little bit of highlighters, some lipstick, um, some mascara, but I, I, can, I could never wear this to work. Um, it would literally melt off my face because I work outside. But, ooh, I'm trying to see like, I definitely think the shadow, um, this neon, which is called Fuck, that's cute. Um, this here, I'm pretty sure matches my shirt, so we should totally use that color. I don't, I mean, there's just so many bright colors, so many things come to mind to do that, uh, I'm sort of, like, at a loss when I look at this. Um, I've already, like, I put, as soon as I got this, I put my finger in it just to see, like, the color payoff, and, um, it's pretty promising, so, uh, we'll see. But I do, I want to use that color and maybe bubblegum, which is like that pink color here. They're just all so pretty. Oh, tough decision, tough decision. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with like a pink route today. Maybe... Mm. 
I don't know. I, sometimes I have like an idea in mind of what I want to do and then other times I just like start doing it and uh, sort of just go from there. But maybe we can do some pinks. And there's also like some nice colors to start out with for like the base of your eye like this color up here which is called virgin the one next to it which is light pink it's called good morning um down here is like an uh sort of like a an orangish nude um which is cone but that could be like a good base so the first thing that i'm going to do is just dip my this is a um a JH10 brush. Um, it's Morphe and Jaclyn Hills collaboration. Sort of just looks like this. If you just have like a flat stamping brush, and I learned this trick from her too, um, and you just dip it into some powder, and you can sort of just sort of like line it up and stamp, and it gives you like a line to work with. Um, it helps for your shadow not to fall below that line. If there's fallout. And it sort of just makes for like a clean line at the end. Almost how you would use tape. Except for tape usually takes my makeup off completely. So I don't ever use tape. Um, unless maybe you have like a special makeup tape and a lot of people like to do their eye makeup before they do the rest of their face but I just have a habit of doing all my face makeup first and then doing my eye makeup even if it falls out because then I'll just take a brush and then just sort of like um, sweep that away so to start out I am just going to use like a fluffy brush and I think I am going to use that color cone. No, I'm going to use Good Morning. And Good Morning is that light pink color up here. And I'm just sort of going to put that on with a fluffy, with like a big fluffy brush. Just to get a little bit of a base color going and something to sit the other shadows on. It is really light. I can still see it. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on this iPhone. Alright, so now I'm dipping into that bright neon coral. Um, the first one that I showed you, the one called Fuck. <laughs> this one here. And I think I'm going to start with that one like sort of on the inner part of my eye and then take it out to a different paint. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this looks like and then um, I'll decide. <laughs> mm. So the thing with this coloring is it's coming out much darker on my eye than it is in the palette so i think you would probably have to lay down a white base to get the exact coloring um like the way you see it in the palette or it's just going to come out darker just because of your skin and everything all right so now i'm going to use the shade bubblegum which is that hot pink 
and then put that on the outer part of my eyes and then just sort of blend them a little bit in the middle Colors are super pretty so far. I just think these eyeshadows would be better used over top of like freshly putting down concealer, like putting conceal or maybe an eyeshadow, not a concealer. I think you need something pigmented. I would use like uh, the lightest concealer that you have and put on your eyes and then put these shadows on because they're powdery and because they're so bright I think you need like a like a primer you know like a painting primer um, laid down first to actually get the true color or pigment to come out just because I can see it like right in front of me but like even on this phone it just looks like a wash of pink when they're two totally separate colors and they're much darker on my eyes than what's in the pan which is disappointing but I just need to try it with concealer I also another trick that I use is putting down white so if you have like I have like this chunky white eyeliner stick from NYX and I put this down sometimes before I lay down bright colors like this but I know Jeffree Star sells a white liquid lipstick, which is safe to use anywhere on your face. I believe it's called Drug Lord. I think that would probably be your best bet to use with his eyeshadows. I think putting a white base down that way, because your skin tone, no matter what color you are, you have tone to your skin. Uh, I think having a white base would give you the purest color payoff but it's still really pretty I think I might cut crease this and put a bright maybe like yellow I don't know let's do it I want to I want to see how it looks with my concealer laid down and I, I use a pretty light concealer color I use the Tarte Shape Tape in fair it's a it's a pretty light color it's not white but I sort of want to see how this will turn out laying the color on something that's a lot brighter I just sort of go in and tap on both sides of my eye just to know like where I want my cut crease to start just to give myself an idea Alright, so I have my cut crease laid out and it's okay if it sort of like looks a mess or you don't think you have your lines perfect. Uh, it, it looks crazy, but it's fine because we're going to put another color on top and then we're going to try like blend it up into the pink. I'm just trying to decide what color I want to do, but I think I want to do yellow. Like a little strawberry banana action going on. I think that'll be pretty. Alright, so we'll see how this stuff lays over top of 
foundation or I'm sorry concealer see how it lays over top of concealer instead of because I already had put like some powder and stuff on my face so I think it being sticky and having like a nice wash of con like color on it I think it's going to help so I'm just going to start packing on yellow and there's two yellows on here there's lemon drop and then there's wow the lemon drop is sparkly but I just want to use the matte yellow which is called wow we'll see how that goes on So that turned out like mustardy. Mm. This is just not going the way I need it to go. I'm going to try to put some white on. All right, so I've got that white eyeliner laid down and I'm gonna try to put the yellow on top of that and see if that helps. And you know what, I'm gonna use like a packing brush. Yeah, I can already see a color difference on that liner. It's much brighter. I'm also noticing that a little tiny packing brush is working much better than a fluffy brush. I think that's where I went wrong. Because now that I'm going over top of that old yellow, it's coming out much brighter. So the coloration looks a little funny where I, some of it has just like what my regular makeup was and then I put that white eyeliner just to see like if it would make a difference. Um, so it is having like a strange discoloring effect. It's making it sort of orange, like close to my eyes. So I think I might have to put, I don't know, maybe I'll just do like eyeliner there just to sort of hide that. But I am going to go back and just blend that, the pink colors onto the yellow a little bit, just so it doesn't look so harsh. All right, so I think I'm gonna sort of do the same effect on the bottom and just put the yellow in my, my inner eye and then sort of bring it out with the two pinks that I used. I'm getting a lot better results just using a little packing brush. And now my eyelids sort of look funny and cakey because I put so much different product on to try to get that to work. But it's looking, it's a lot better when it's just on top of your regular makeup that you did, but just use a packing brush. I think that's what I'll do next time. Because once you start putting like the powder and then concealer and then powder or like that white eyeliner and then more powder, it um, mine turned really cakey, but hopefully it still looks okay in the end. I'll put on like some fake eyelashes and then it'll hide most of it. And uh, yeah, just, if you do a shitty job at your makeup, just put some false eyelashes on and no one will see it. I'm also going to sweep away that little bit of white here 
where I had that powder. And you can just go ahead and sweep under your eyes too. Just to catch any fallout that came out. It looks really cool. I like it. It reminds me of like strawberry banana smoothie or like tropical sunset. It's coming off so horrible on this phone. Um, yeah, there you go. Look at it like from far away. Um, it looks so pretty like in person, like in this little mirror here. Um, it also, everything always looks fucking crazy until you have like eyelashes and stuff on. So that also might be the problem. But I really like how it looks. It's like a sunset, I think. Instead of straight up black eyeliner, I sort of want to put a purple, do like a purple liner. And sort of bring it under out under my yellow wing and then come in. I think I'm going to do that because there is a cool color right here. <sighs> um, what color is that? Blue? Yeah. I thought that one was purple. This one's blue, but this one over here called Bite Me. with this look I'm going to add a little pop of highlight on my inner corner and under my brow bone and I think I'm going to use this shimmery shade called jawbreaker to do that okay I think I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll be right back. All right, here it is, final look. I actually don't think it looks too bad, especially um, with eyelashes on. Like I said, it, it'll sort of hide imperfections. Um, I think it'll be a lot better using just my regular makeup and don't pile on a bunch of layers. I think it would look a lot smoother. I just think you need to use a packing brush. And what I mean by that is something like really short bristled rather than something fluffy. I think it helped it pack on the pigment a lot better. And the, yeah, like the color just stood out a lot more. Um, but I mean, you can't really tell now that I have false lashes on, especially if you're like, I don't know, like normal people person, kind of distance away, you know. I have my phone so close up to me, but you know, when somebody's talking to you, I don't think anybody's going to notice that my eyeshadow is a little crusty dusty, but I think it's really pretty. It's like tropical sunset and I guess it does still sort of match my shirt I was just disappointed when the color didn't come out exactly like it was in the pan but I think I can try to work around that by using a different brush next time and also I think if you have the white liquid lipstick and I, I swear it's called drug lord which I think I might order I think having Putting the color down on top of such a bright white base, I think it would help a lot. But oh, my lighting is so bad. I think it turned out pretty. I like it. It'll probably look a lot better if I take a picture. My, I don't know why, but in like videos, like you can see this lighting back here, the lighting from the ring ring light. Um, it's not like a it's it's my um, my makeup mirror. It's not like a ring light for like lighting for like taking videos, which I think I I 
would like just because the lighting's so strange. I can never get like great lighting in here. Especially at this table. When I'm over here, like in front of that mirror, I have all those bulbs lit up, which helps. Anyway, um, thanks for watching my video and uh yeah, I'll be back with another one soon. Hope you like it. Bye.